So I went and got a uh, solar kit, 100 watt from Harbinger Freight. These things go on sale every couple months. I think they're normally like uh, 189. So uh, the battery was right next to the kit, and the kit was the only one left. Everybody else grabbed the rest. And the inverters were in a whole other aisle, not too far away. Uh, so the goal here is to have kind of a backup solution when the power goes out and I need uh, electric for a few things, mainly uh, computer, monitor, and light, I'll have a backup solution. Alright, so the first thing I did, it's probably the thing most people don't do, I guess, is uh, hooked up the battery. Saw the uh, LED display or LCD display came on. And uh, press the power. We got our light coming on and off. So hey, that part works. All right, so now we are charging. Look at that. We've got all four panels connected. All right, so this is my major concern right here: is the sine wave. Uh, the inverter gives me a modified sine wave and it says um, so do not use the power sensitive devices such as medical equipment or computers um, however my computer is on an APC battery backup that runs for maybe an hour and it's supposed to clean things so I think I'll be safe. Alright, so the inverter is hooked up and we can power it on. Alright, so this may be a bit laughable, but uh, I stuck everything in the storage bin and now I have a portable solar generator. <laughs> Alright, because I don't know how this is going to work out, I unplugged everything. Nothing is plugged in. All right, this is not plugged in. Nothing is plugged into the battery. Yeah, the battery can, apparently it's using up some load on battery power. So let's see what happens when we plug it in. All right, it's on solar. And let's see, it keeps clicking like it's trying to, it's trying to do something. Hmm. What's the clicking about? Hello? That's not working. All right, this solution is bunk. But, just to be certain, let's run outside. Okay, it's turned on. That's interesting. 10.8. 10 10.8. 10 I wonder if I fried the battery. I'm going to leave this off and uh, just see what happens after a day. Maybe something changes. Low. It looks like um, my battery may have been ruined. Okay, so it says that the DC input voltage drops too low, and this is the uh, the inverter. The alarm of the inverter will sound. If it goes further, it'll shut down automatically. That did not happen. Um, it's not even going to go ahead and charge the battery. It thinks the battery's undercharged. So I went ahead and unhooked the battery. And it still thinks it's 10.8 volts. 
good. 13.7 volts. It's like, what is going on? That's a fully charged battery. Yeah. All right, so now I'm checking. It says the battery's at 10.8 volts. I'm measuring the current coming from the solar panel or from the charge controller to the battery. And it's charging the battery. You know, it keeps changing because that's solar. But it ranges 13, 14 volts. So that is weird. All right, so this, this means nothing. See, there's 12.6 volts going out. This button here should be recycling, but also the light button is cycling. Interesting. All right. So this light is powered by the, the sun. Now that's really weird. Um, so the frequency of the LEDs is making like a pulsating effect. That is crazy awesome. Now that I have my own solar system kit up and running, uh, there are a few concerns that I have. The display on the charge controller, uh, I didn't realize that I was looking at settings instead of readings. And uh, it's it wasn't intuitive until I actually read through the manual. I actually had to go through the manual, manual a couple times until I realized what was going on. And when I went through past videos, I actually saw kind of the the things I should have caught on to what was going on and I was just bumbling around. I am concerned about does the controller actually take accurate readings. I'm not seeing the same reading with a multimeter. So um, I don't want to overcharge a battery. That's a bad thing. There's the, the inverter with its um, modified sine wave. I think that's the biggest problem I'm running into right now. That's why I have all these lights buzzing. I've tried three different LED lights and they all have their own unique buzzes. Uh, my APC battery backup system couldn't even switch over. So I went ahead and ordered online from Amazon a, um, a new inverter. Well, the other one was new as well. But the, the newer one is 1000 watts with 2000 peak and it's a pure sine wave inverter. Solar is interesting, but you immediately start to see where you can improve the system and the better things go up, uh, like the power inverter that I bought earlier was $24. The one that I just bought, which is better, is uh, $212. I can only imagine what an inver inverter would cost for a house to supply a whole house with power. I'd probably add, an uh, add another zero to the end of that number, at least 2000 I would think. Um, so solar can get expensive depending on what you want to do. Um, I have no idea what prices are for anything, really, but yeah. So that's that's been a fun day. All right, till next time, bye.